let me show you how I have my pumps configured here. We have a standard electrical pump down there and plug switch. And it comes out, goes through a check valve, up and out, and it actually goes to the street. Uh, secondly, I have a, uh, you can look here from the top, a three quarter inch line, CPVC line, shut off valve, and uh, I've got this here to feed my, uh, you know, clean the pump out and stuff, a little hose mm -hmm. boiler drain. Two quarter inch line goes down through a um, check valve, and then through a coupler, and another coupler here, so that if I have to get the pump out of the way, it can easily be done. And then we have our Liberty Pumps Sump Jet, and it is a water-powered backup pump. It goes out its own line out of the house, and that way if the reason for failure of pump number one, here, the primary pump, is, you know, a claw, the frozen line, this one will still have a, a way to go. So that's how I have it set up, and uh, easily removable with these two couplings, unions. So that you can get the pump out of there and service it and everything without having to cut the pipe. Alright, we're doing a backup pump test. Got a heavy rain outside. Using a Liberty Sump Jet water powered sump pump. We've disabled both alarm systems and um, unplugged the electrical pump, the main pump. You can see the float way down there underneath the water. And this is a secondary float here for the water powered pump. Shortly, we should get a uh, engagement of the water-powered pump once the float pushes up far enough to turn the valve on, and we should see if we can keep up with this heavy, very, very heavy rainfall. Getting up, uh, you know, in the two to three inch an hour rainfall rate right now. There we go. And you can see the water level is going down. And we're keeping up. Very quiet pump. If this, uh, if I hadn't configured this for a test, both water sensors, one is an audible alarm. It does that. And the other one is hooked into my uh, alarm system, so I got a phone call from the alarm company saying pump failure. So, water power sump pump is working. Alright, I'm going to uh, plug the electric pump back in and you'll see uh, the difference in float levels. Alright, the electric pump is back in. <clears throat> Just pull it all the way back down to the bottom. Alright, there's the top of the electric pump. That's the electric pump float there. Alright. Bottom, you can see the inflow rate right now quite high and we're able to keep up with just the water powered pump alone so I'm going to put my uh, water sensors back in the hole and uh, call a day. Thanks for watching.